here's what's amazing too is that I never intended this Z or this N configuration how it breaks down if you overlap the Z in the capital N you end up creating the Xbox which is the Zion I never I didn't know that somebody else commented it in and said they saw that in my fractal equation and then somebody else commented in and said that they saw the shape for the black widow that red in the black widow's abdomen in here you know after I was equating this as a spider's web and had read that scripture about they read the spider's web in Isaiah we're gonna look at that so this thing has proved itself to be on the money not only from my viewpoint but from everyone else's and we're gonna show this thing is absolutely perfectly on track it's gonna blow you away so with some of the insight from other people commenting in, I was like, okay, yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that this is the mind and the mind is divided. Here's this division of Zion. There's the Z and the N. It's the fractal. It works out. I've got the fractal site. It's exactly how it works. Everything's encoded in there. So we come up with this understanding of the Black Widow. And this is where it's going to tie back up to this London Olympics mascot, the spirit of Zion. Notice and we're seeing the Zion here. Notice in my equation is like this web shape, okay? Now we're going to show you that this is already Orion's bands, okay? Already, or the belt of Orion, because that's exactly the shape of Orion where it would meet. These are just two Orions overlaid top of each other, or two shapes of a black widow's abdomen overlaid on each other. We're in a spider's web, right? Friends, it's the spiritual view. So... Look at verse 5 of chapter 59. They hatch cockatrice's eggs and weave the spider's web. He that eateth of their eggs dieth. Now, it's not focusing in right now, but you can see it. They weave the spider's web. All right, I drew the spider's web equationally without trying to. And then now incorporated is everything. The Orion's belt, the Iron's cross, the to and fro, up and down, all over the earth. It's all there. The four winds, everything. The Garden of Eden event, the division of the knowledge of good and evil, the whole thing. The whole thing. Now here's where it's going to get freaky. You know that that mascot, now that we can associate my fractal with Zion, and then we can associate this video, his message, with this understanding of this golden age with Zion. Same thing my fractal is saying. Now what I want to do is lock in without a doubt that that spider that they're representing is really saying exactly what I said it did. That it is saying the spirit of Orion. And that that is exactly what we are seeing being represented here with that spider's Orion shape that's on the base of the Black Widow's body, that big red hourglass. Friends... Here's the proof. There's the spider. This is the Nazca lines in Peru. There's the big spider or the black widow. There's the spider. Now watch what it says. It says spider might have been intended to model and symbolize Orion. Now, I found this in a book today after I was looking for something to support what I'm saying here. And when I saw that spider in that video, like last night or the night before for the first time, I instantly thought back to this equation. Instantly. And friends, this has grave implications, man. This really tells you that I really am a seer. I really am. What I see is real and true. I'm giving it to you in some pretty deep details, and I, I'm, I appreciate anybody that's trying to hang on and that, that is grasping. Uh, y'all guys have really, y'all guys have really stuck close and tried to understand. I, I appreciate you seeing some value here, but the point of the fact is, I think what I also see that's going to happen is going to come true. Also, I'll be back. <laughs>